If you've been with me on this channel for a little while, then you know that I've been conducting a series of interviews with veteran leadership and executive coaches. I've been having these long form interviews to give you a lot of insight into the world of leadership and executive coaching and to give you ideas on how you can be a more effective coach and have a more successful practice. In this clip, I've taken a selected question and answer from one of the past interviews to give you an opportunity to reinforce an existing point if you've already watched the whole interview or to give you an opportunity to just learn a little bit from this executive coach. If you like this question and answer and you haven't watched the whole interview, I highly recommend that you find it on this channel and do so. Now, uh, based on your long sales background, you're probably better than average at selling coaching. What are your best tips for coaches who want to improve their ability to sell themselves as a coach or selling the idea of coaching? Well, you know, you and I, you and I have talked about this a little bit and I know, um, I think you feel a little bit the same way, but I feel like coaches, first of all, they need to know themselves really well. What, what do you know? What are you good at? What are you not so good at? So I would say definitely learning a little bit about yourself, whether that means, you know, taking a disc, Myers-Briggs, whatever that is. But then the other thing, um, you know, be genuine, listen well, um, and, um, you know, really work, work to solve problems. In instead of trying to, to sell people on things, be a problem solver be a solution, uh, support people. But the other thing is we have a lot of coaches in this industry that, that really don't know how to sell. And, mm -hmm. you know, so the number one thing would be you, you need to learn how to sell. So if you've never taken a course, if you've never taken a book uh, or you've never read a book, my, my biggest tip would be read the book, uh, take, take a, go through some sales training so you understand what it is because you'll hear a lot of coaches say, well, you know, um, I don't do a lot of sales training because I'm not good in sales. Well, I think if you're a coach, you want to be an influencer, you want you want to have that skill. Um, but you and I also know that it's a different kind of sell. You don't want to talk people into coaching because you want them to want it. So right. how do you do that as a salesperson? And so that's why I think that that, that training is something that's very important. So, you know, it's great that you've been in business your whole life and now you're going to help business owners or you've been in academia and you've been teaching sales and you jump in, but you need to know something about, you know, the, the art and the science of selling and to be able to do that in a way that you're solving problems and you're being a help, you're being consultative, you're not you know, you're not looking for that transactional sale. So I think that would be the biggest thing. Um, but definitely be a problem solver. Learn a little bit about yourself and what you're good at, what you're not good at. Shore up what you're not good at. But definitely, if you don't have a background in sales, you need you need to you need to get some training. Oh, man, there's so, so much good advice there, Mike. Thank you, because uh, I, I do believe that that oftentimes, uh, as you mentioned, that people with a long background in, in, in corporate, a successful career in academia, healthcare, what have you, uh, they know they can help other people to be successful. Yep. And by learning how to coach, then you learn how to draw those solutions out of other people. But if you can't ever sell the coaching, then you can't do what you would really love to do, which is have those light bulb moments like we talked about a little That's bit right. ago. Exactly. Yeah. So investing in a little bit of sales training, reading some books uh, is real good advice. Yeah. Yep. And knowing yourself. So thank you for that.